Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Libra. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for the Libra sign. In today's reading, we will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? And um, thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for coming back. I would love for you guys to subscribe. So please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell. This is for the Libra sign. What can I get for the Libra sign, please? What is the guided message that is meant for you to know? And ready for you to know, this is for the sign of Libra, please. <clears throat> um, we'll look at your situation. We'll look at your focus. We'll pick up your energy check in. And let's see what is your guided message. By the way, Libra, this is an open reading. So please do connect with me by visualizing, thinking, feeling your ooh, lovers, your situation, your focus, your worries and concern. If there's any or, or if it's a person, think about them. What can I get for the Libra sign, please? <clears throat> What is the guided message for the Libra sign? What is the message for the Libra sign? Please, you have the Four of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the World card in here. Okay. Four Swords, the Ace of Wands, you have the King of Wands, you have the Ten of Wands, <coughs> you have the Two of Cups. Okay. And the hidden energy and what's coming towards you've got the six of swords the three of swords is here and you have a queen of wands nice nice okay all right guys let's start the reading um you're starting the reading libra with the four of swords um the four of swords is next to the ace of wands i feel like the four of swords and the ace of wands um there is a situation that you are connected which it feels like it has been clipped okay you could be dealing with an actual person who is ignoring you or it feels like the situation is sleeping it feels like the situation is something that you might kind of need to follow up um, I feel like it's been four months four weeks but I don't think this is in a completion process in fact I'm kind of getting like a strong vibe Libra that if you're kind of dealing with something stagnant, something that's not responsive, something that you feel like it needs a follow up, please do it so, so you would get the update because you've got an ace of wands in here and it, it feels like you're one message or one follow up away from a situation that will give you the real time update and will the real time update or the real status and then it will allow you to decide whether you stop and go okay basically the ace of wands in here it's empowering you libra don't wait further seek for the answer seek for the update seek for the energy the ace of wands in here yeah tower card i feel like this tower card in here libra it is giving you the green light okay i feel like this tower card the first part of the reading it has a strong pull that you can execute the ace of wands execute you can follow up you can call you can email you can be proactive because you're dealing with a situation that is stagnant you know look at that, the four of swords it's like it doesn't matter like it's it looks like if they want to they can but they might need a nudge it could also be connected to a process okay you could be waiting for somebody or waiting for some update connected to a company to a situation the ace of wands a tower card these are very powerful energy these are action oriented energy it's kind of advice advising you that you're one step away one one follow-up or one message away from you know one message or one follow-up away from your breakthrough or getting the completion getting the real-time update i feel like if you do follow up you're gonna get an answer or you're not going to get an answer and then you will decide the the, the world card because this has been bothering you for some of you guys uh with this person sleeping and you waiting it's like a metaphor 
you've been waiting for this since April, four weeks ago, four months ago, maybe four years ago for some of you. But it feels like it's about time to get into your Ace of Wands and the Tower card in here. It's clarified by the, the Tower card, which is which is a strong green light that, hey, Libra, you're one text, one call, one message, one email, one communication away to getting your breakthrough answer, your breakthrough moment that will allow you to decide. Because the World card, this is completion. Whether you get an answer or you whether you get an answer or you don't get an answer, whatever is going to happen after you send the proactive energy, you will, you will take action. You know, it's, it's, it's like a make it or break it. It's like for some of you guys, I'm kind of picking up that if you do not get a reply, that is your answer. For some of you guys, I feel like you're going to get a reply and you would know whether there is a chance to wait or how much you would wait. For some of you, you will they will speed up the process because you have already put a bit of a nudge or a bit of a pressure, especially if this is business correspondence in here. But like all of like with the Ace of Wands and the Tower card, you're kind of being advised that you're one text away. Like you want your one call away from a breakthrough answer in here. Um, Libra, you would be dealing with Scorpio travel, moving on movement in here. Something that if you want to speed up the process, if you want to get something out of something stuck, be proactive. You know, use the Ace of Wands. A spark. Like a strike. The message. Do the message. Yeah. Take a risk. The Fool card. Take a risk. Take a bold move. You know, the, the Tower card and the Ace of Wands in here. Okay? Take a bold move, Libra. It's now or never. Okay? Now, let's see what else is coming towards you. I feel like right now, you're very bold. <laughs> With the King of Wands, you are the King of Wands in here, Libra. I feel like right now, you're so excited to work. I could feel your excitement to work, to solve problem, to do an adventure. For some of you guys, um, the King of Wands is looking at... It's, it looks like the King of Wands looking into the past. So... It's possible, Libra, that you're feeling powerful right now, you know, with a king of... Because you're not bothered about the Ten of Wands in here. You're not bothered about the Ten of Wands in here. So you're feeling energetic. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling in control. And there are some things in the past that you feel like you were not able to tidy it up. And I could feel that you would go back to a situation, a project maybe a person, maybe a plan in the past and you're going to tidy it up, okay? Or it could be a situation from the past or a communication from the past connected to a person, a project, a plan. It might come back and you might have, you might need to tidy it up, okay? And I feel like whether it's, whether it's you initiating to go back to something that you've dealt with in the past or they're coming towards you, you're ready. Okay, with the King of Wands in here. Like the King of Wands, it's looking, you're very optimistic, you're very focused, and you're very hardworking too. Like this combination of energy speaks to me that you can do it, and you can do it faster. Okay, like it's a very moving, including this one, Libra. Okay, the first part of the reading, I could really feel how much you want for things to be done. If it's not going to work, you want to know it so you can move forward. So, you're sitting in a vibration or energy where you want some you you want some movement or you want some reply or you want to get things done you want to get things moving in here with the king of wands you want to you want to get things done you want to get the things moving you don't want to get stuck yeah this is your it looks like you're allergic to feeling stuck you want things to move forward if it doesn't move forward it's not meant for you you're going to hop into the next thing that would move forward like i feel like the king of wands and ten of wands in here i feel like it's really is something i want to take this risk i want to take this adventure i want to do this plan because it's very connected to my financial growth my personal growth my spiritual growth but there's a component of if i can do it right now sunshine i will do it like there is well, time is your currency, but you're, you're operating and moving energetically and something that whatever I can complete today, I will do it today. I won't wait for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. 
Six of Pentacles in here. You're looking into the past. There's something in the past that would reconnect with you. Look at that. I feel like there's somebody or someone in the past that would reconnect with you. You could be initiating, initiating it, initiating it, or they could be initiating it. But I could feel that there is a past venture, a past plan connected to a person that would come back. It's very enticing. And I feel like the reason why the universe is giving you this opportunity again, it's because you have so much availability. You have the, you have the strength and the energy to, to fix it, to improve it, okay? I see you looking at it, you know, the king of wands, the ten of wands in here, okay? Like you're more experienced now. You basically know now what to do, okay? Now, there's a two of cups in here. Okay, I feel like this two of cups. This is a romantic interest, and you have a king. Of, you have a king and a queen. So what's coming towards you? There's a two of cups moment. Let's look at the two of cups in here. You know, this could be the same person that's coming in, Libra. I feel like for some of you, the next two to three weeks, there is, there is quite. There's a few energies that would like to come back. From the past there's there is something connected to paperwork business and personal with the two of cups in here that's one thing to return like it's for some of you it's like a missed opportunity for some of you it's really like completely a rejection you know for some of you guys it didn't there was something so solid that it doesn't work out um i believe the following missed opportunities or the following situation is returning because you can manage to make a different decision and that decision is more favorable to your growth uh, to your personal development or it could be connected to relationship too but there's a reason behind this it's more of like personally maybe personally professionally spiritually financially you can accommodate the following returns I'm really picking up a lot of returns in here Libra uh, one of the most inter <clears throat> one of the most interesting re return is this two of cups this is a person from the past it looks like it's a partnership there's a king of there's a queen of wands in here oh yes um you know this two of cups this two of cups is connecting this this two of cups is there's a feeling that this two of cups this person they were not able to show you all of what they can offer you okay i think there is regret with this person because you get along but they didn't put a lot of action like this person felt how much like this person felt a great dynamic especially if this is love they felt that your dynamic is great but they did not invest further they were kind of holding back with the nine of wands and i think because they were holding back it led you and this person to a six of swords a six of swords is that of course if one is not giving a hundred percent it wouldn't work because if they're not giving their hundred percent and you're filling up for whatever they couldn't provide to make things work at some point you're going to be exhausted filling up for the gap that they cannot provide so it could be that's probably the reason why things went to a three of swords a six of swords Basically, these two of cups, they, they kind of turn your back. They turn their back towards you. There's something guarded. Maybe this person, they could even possibly betray you, you know. Um, this king of cups, sorry, this queen of cups. Sorry, I'm, why am I saying queen of cups? Maybe I'll pull the cards, but um, this is a partnership. Whoever this two of cups is, it might not be in the same energetic alignment with you because in this reading i pick you up in the king of wands which is like you're interested with the past meaningful past actually you're very you're very interested to fix something in the past including this person um i'm being advised to because this is passion and fire okay um passion and fire i'm kind of being advised libra to to base your decision like if you are going to make a decision towards this partnership or person please let's not 
make it through impulsiveness, okay? In here. But I wouldn't blame you if you reject this person. For some of you, there's a rejection coming from you. A Queen of Cups. I did pull the Queen of Cups. I'm really intuitive. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Cups. And the Ten of Wands, 9 and 10. Look, your energy is ready for any missed opportunity if it's going to give you a whole new offer. Like, your, your energy, it comes... And the way the universe is connecting with you, like what's coming towards you, the invitation of the universe towards you, Libra, and what the universe is going to bring you in the next two to three weeks. I feel like majority of the invitation, what the universe is going to bring you is mostly from the past. Some of it business, some of it basic that you can okay it's coming back fix it you know like it's basic you can fix it you're king of wands but one of it is actually quite a major return with the two of cups in here with the queen of cups the ten of wands they're actually begging you you know how i i you know how i i could feel the queen of cups energy but the card is not here then eventually i pulled the cards look at that because this two of cups you might reject this person or it's possible that they connect with you and you block them um <clears throat> they're very excited whoever this person is libra they're very excited but knowing this two of cups is coming from a person who's, who's very excited to connect with you but if you do reject them or ignore them because you're you're not in line with them you're not even looking at this person um they will shift to i am begging you literally desperate kind of like I'm, i beg you give me a cup metaphor okay um you're quite sharp in this reading libra you're very focused sharp fast and like your intelligent is fast passionate witty like we want to get things done you know and i might like I'm, I'm being advised with a queen of cups like this is like begging like it could be a family member to i'm begging you or this could be a lover i'm begging you so the universe is somehow advising you to apply empathy you know like kind of slow down when it comes to this person there's someone in here that like slow down with this person okay um but for some of you they have no choice you might really say no before you get yes because they're gonna beg you there's a begging they won't beg if they won't get rejected for some of you guys but there's definitely someone that you might reject um yeah yeah, this person is stubborn. Now their ego is gone. It's like I'm begging you, like, please accept my apology. Please accept my queen. Please, please accept my apology. Please accept my cup in here. This is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for connecting with me. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. And if you would like to further connect with me, Libra, I would love for you guys to be part of my channel. Please don't forget to click the bell and click the subscribe button okay i'll see you soon you have a great day